Hi, welcome to Sending Gold Dad. I'm Mark. Hello to all my new subscribers. And uh, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. This week we're going to be looking at buffer stops. These are the normal little plastic ones you get in sets. And we're going to have a look to see what we can do to improve them, give them a better appearance, and maybe fit some lights to them. So this is your basic little buffer stop. This is a Hornby one. It's just molded plastic. It does have some detail on it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint it with a burnt umber coating just to make a, uh, a more wooden appearance. Uh, if you have a look on Google, uh, just Google buffer stops, you'll see there's such a wide range of different colors and types. So we'll give this a base coat of burnt umber to start with and then we'll take it from there. There's the buffer stops with a couple of coats of burnt umber on them. I think they look better already. Uh, when you're putting it on, make sure you thin the paint down and you put it on in several thin layers instead of one thick coat. That way you don't obscure some of the detail that's on it. Before we do any further um, detailing and weathering on it, I'm going to fit some lights to them. So for that, I'm going to put, got a lighthouse type LED, normal Dome LED. This is red, but it's got a clear lens. And then these are surface mounted LEDs. Again, they give off a red light. So I'm going to put them on a post that's going to stand behind the buffer. So we'll give that a go. Let's put some wires onto the legs of the LED. Remember with the LED, the longer leg is the positive, the shorter leg is the negative. So we're putting the red wire onto the positive leg and the black wire onto the negative leg. And then I'll be connecting the wires into the 12 volt bus supply on the layout. Uh, but before I do that, I'll be putting a resistor onto it to reduce the voltage. Otherwise it will burn out the LED. So let's do that now. I've put a bit of flux on the end already. The flux really just helps the solder flow and makes for a better joint. So we've got the soldering iron. A bit of solder on it. Just offer up the wire, hold it against it, tap it, hold it in place, it cools, and there it is, it's attached. And repeat that with the red. Hold it in place, dab with the soldering iron, there it is, in place. So to insulate that and protect it from shorting out, we're going to put some heat shrink over it. Just use the soldering iron just to shrink that down. There we go. Now, as I said, once it, the wires are through the baseboard before I connect it to the 12 volt bus supply, I will uh, put a resistor on it. So let's drill a hole in one of the buffers and fit it in. There's the LEDs fitted into the buffers. 
or just a spot of glue on there to hold them in place. We'll also need to paint over the rear of the LED just to stop any light bleed. And then the wires, more or less hidden down there. Drill a couple of holes by the track, drop it down and connect it up. But, uh, I'll go and find a, a battery just so we can see these lit up now. There we can see the buffer lights on. And you can see where we need to paint at the back where there's the light bleed. So we'll go over that with a bit of black just to cover those in. And they look very bright on camera, but they're not actually too bright. If they look too bright on the layout, we can just stick a bigger resistor on just to bring down the level of light. So now we'll look at using the surface mount LEDs. Let's have a look at the surface mount LEDs. Now these LEDs are very small and very fiddly. They have a terminal either side and you can tell which is the negative because the negative side has this little nick in the corner. So what we're going to do with these is we're going to attach them to this post which is just two matchsticks glued together. We're going to attach two one above each other, and then this post will then stand behind the buffer. So we can either stick it to the buffer or drill a hole through a sleeper and hold it in position that way. So we'll look now at how I'm going to wire these onto this piece of wood. This is conductive copper. It's sticky back, so I can cut this to length and I can put it down a piece of wood so I'm going to put a strip down either side, leaving a gap between them so they don't connect. So I can solder one side of the LED onto one strip and the other onto the other strip. And then solder on two wires at the bottom, which then can be fed on to the 12 volt bus via resistor. So let's get cracking on that. There you can see we now have two copper strips on the matchsticks with a gap in between. So now we can solder the LEDs one to either strip. Now this is a very fiddly and delicate job because these are very small. So I have my smaller soldering iron to help with this. So let's get cracking. I've put a couple of blobs of solder on there to attach the LEDs to. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So there it is, all soldered in and working. We'll just give the solder a bit of a tidy up, file it down a little bit, neaten it up, and then we'll give it a, a paint and see how it looks. Here we can see the buffer stops. Lights have been added. They've all been painted up. You can see I've painted some of red stops, some of white. Uh, this one here, I've taken some matchsticks, something together, and put them across there. So you have a full stop beam with colours painted on it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of my pastel chalks. There you can see some different sort of rust colours. I'm going to take a brush, dip it in. And then just brush over some of the detail. Using the different colours just to highlight a few areas. And you can mix some of the colours just to give that streaking and slightly weathered effect. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. So I'll do that with all the uh, stops and then I'll get them put on to place on the layout and we can have a look at them. There's the buffers in place, weathered up, painted. Lights on. I think they look the part. Not better than just a normal black plastic. Let's have a look at them with the lights off.
I think you'll agree that painting up these buffer stops, putting some lights in them, improves them immensely. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.